this shit! This episode of Triple CHS is brought to you by DraftKings.com. What's up, fight fans? I'm the Grown Ups 2 of Mixed Martial Arts, Tommy Toehold. And today marks a very sad and special day in MMA history. Today marks the 10th anniversary of the last Pride show. Pride never die, except when it did on this day 10 years ago. So I thought it would be fun to talk to some of my personal favorite Pride fighters and reminisce about the days of Pride. And since this is such a special episode and Pride wasn't Pride without her, each of my guests will be introduced with a terrible impression of Lenny Hart, the incredible Pride ring announcer. And when I say terrible impression, I mean terrible. No rolling R's, just a horrible, horrible tribute to Pride and the people who were involved. Let's fucking do this shit! Lenny, who's up first? Boss motherfucking rootin'! Boss motherfucking rootin' El Wapo himself! Pride would not have been the same without your awesome energetic commentary and that of your broadcast partners. Thank you, sir. Bing, bang, pow! Pride was incredible. We had Fedor with the boom! And Mirko Kroka, bang and the bang and the bang! The referees had the little cameras on their heads so you could see what they saw. Bang, boom! Vanderlei Anderson, Rampage, Chuck, Big Nog, Shogun, all the greats fighting in one place, head stumps, knees to the head on the ground. And of course you had El Wapo. Right, right, city gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Ding, dang, dong. If I had to fight Steven Seagal right now, I would break his whole body. Boom, pow. You are fucking awesome, boss. Lenny, who's the next guest? Fedor Fedor, you're the greatest heavyweight of all time. You dominated in pride. You are one of the reasons I got so interested in the sport. Thank you. You're welcome. So you're at your training facility again? Yes. It is playground of great victory. I do the monkey bars, and it makes me the greatest fighter. Fedor, you always seem so calm and reserved. Did you ever lose it or crack a bit during that pride run? No, but... One time I see Rampage in the backstage, he say to me, Fedor, who makes Mark Coleman's favorite camping equipment? Coleman's. And I reply, ha, that was the most I break during the Pride run. Ha <laughs> ha! That joke is stupid as fuck. Who's next, Lenny? Gagan Muzazi! Gagard, you're fighting this weekend. What are you? You fought in Pride? Yeah, I fought three times. But you're 31. What the fuck? I know. I've been fighting since I was a kid. I have more fights than fucking Dan Severn. And I still can't get a title fight. This is bullshit. I should already be on my third or fourth title defense. Instead, now GSP gets it. Well, fuck me, I guess. I guess I'll fight Chris Weidman and then fight somebody else and then fight another person and then watch Tom Hanks compete for the world title. It's bullshit. What? Because I don't like Instagram? Fuck Instagram. But yeah, Pride was fun. I had a good time. Lenny, hit us with another one. I missed it. Reem, your first Pride fight was at an event called Pride the Best Volume 2, which sounds like a pop music hits compilation CD. You were also, I'm pretty sure, a completely different person back then. I was not yet Uber Reem, or current Reem, who is just a slightly smaller Uber Reem, but I was ultimately still the Reem, just a bit younger and a bit smaller. You see, no matter what form the Reem takes, the essence of the Reem is forever, so even Tiny Pride Reem, who still exists in my heart, was the Reem. Thank you for clearing that up. Send me the last guess, Lenny. Don Don Fry, you had one of the most legendary brawls in Pride history when you and Yoshihiro Takayama beat the shit out of each other for six minutes until he finally couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, that was some fun shit right there. It was about a week or two until I remembered my name again. What memories do you have of Pride? That place was fucking crazy. Crowds were incredible. The arenas were huge. You had a whole bunch of people kicking all sorts of ass. What would you say has changed from then to now in the sport? I think we might have been a bit tougher in our time. Never saw anybody pulling out of fights for training injuries, bullshit like concussions, or wanting more money. I'm not even sure I got paid for half the fights I fought in. If I did, it was just enough to get a few beers afterwards with the guy whose ass you just kicked. If you were having a shitty day, or your arm was broken, or you just watched your dog you had for 10 years get run over by a drunk mailman, didn't matter. You laced up your trunks, and you went out there, and you beat the shit out of people. The other difference was, I'm pretty sure they didn't test for shit at Pride. If I peed into a cup when I was in Japan, it was because there wasn't a bathroom near by and when Don Fry's gotta go, he's gotta go because I piss like a goddamn fire hydrant that's been set loose. You can't stop my piss. Don Fry, you are fucking awesome and hands down the best mustache of all time. Thank you. All right, fight fans, that's... Did you forget about me? Surely I was one of your favorites. Show me! Shogun, you definitely were one of my favorites, but I just don't know how much longer we can run with this Bane gimmick. Oh, 
I see what your problem is. You know, I didn't always wear the mask. Back when I was a younger man in Pride, the mask was not required. Shogun, you're like 32, aren't you? You're not even old. Ah, uh, yes. But victory has defeated me. Also, a considerable amount of head trauma. Well, now this is just getting a bit depressing. We'll see you soon, Shogun. Great work in Pride. Fight fans, Pride was a throwback to a time that couldn't possibly exist ever again. It's the closest thing the world will ever come to pro wrestling and Japanese anime being a real thing. And yes, there were fights that were a bit suspect, and yes, there might have been some shady things happening behind the scenes, but their roster was full of legends, their production was fucking unbelievable, and they were just so goddamn fun to watch. So all's forgiven, right? Pride is gone 10 years, and that was 10 years too soon. Here's to the end of an era that Risen is trying to bring back sans the best fighters in the world. Pride never fucking die! See you tomorrow, fight fans!